All right, welcome back to the next video about probability theory. And in the last part, we got to know the sum rule and the product rule. And in this video, we are going to derive base rule, which is very important. And from this standpoint, it is not very difficult, as you will see. So if we have a look at our product rule again, it also applies if I say let's consider p of s and y is also equal to p of y given s times p of s is also the same as p of y and s is equal to p of s given y times p of y. So on the left hand side we see that these two expressions are basically the same. So we can equate that. Then we realize that we can apply this to our case here. So we can also write it down like this now. So this is also the probability of the red box given that we picked an orange times the probability that we pick an orange. That means that we can derive the following formula out of that. We just write down P of S given Y is equal to P of Y given S times P of S divided by P of Y. Then we could also write that down in explicit form again like this. P of S is equal to R given Y is equal to O is equal to P of Y is equal to O given S is equal to R times P of S is equal to R. And we divide that by P of Y is equal to O. So this formula plays a very central role in unsupervised machine learning. It is called Bayes' rule. What it does, it takes one conditional probability and turns it around to the other conditional probability. We have conditional probabilities here. This very last one we wrote down. So this is the probability of picking an orange given that we pick from the red box. This is a conditional probability that is relatively easy to access. However, that other probability, the probability that answers our main question here is not easy. But now we have re-expressed this difficult probability in terms of easy probabilities. When we apply the sum rule here in the denominator, we are getting P of S equal R given Y equal O is equal to P of Y equal O given S equal R times P of S equal R. And we divide that by now applying the sum rule P of y equal o and s is equal to r plus p of y is equal to o and s is equal to b. And if you want, you can even go a step further and apply the product rule in the denominator again, which would give you p of y is equal to o given s is equal to r times p of s is equal to r and we divide that by p of y is equal to o given s is equal to r times p of s is equal to r plus p of y is equal to o given s is equal to b times s is equal to b. So one form of base rule would be P of S given Y is equal to P of Y given S times P of S divided by the sum of S is element of omega of P of Y given S times P of S. And here you really see in order to get the one conditional probability, you only need the other conditional probability and the total probability, which is also called marginal probability. 
are we now able to solve our question? We just apply Bayes' rule. We need to plug everything into our equations now. First, let us calculate all the different probabilities that we need for this calculation. These are our approximate probabilities. Pay attention here that these may not be exact. Remember that we calculated these probabilities by counting all the events occurring in the experiment. Of course, there is some noise in there. And if you calculate these probabilities by looking inside the boxes, you may get slightly varying probabilities. The exactness depends on how often you repeat the experiment. So, okay, we have now p of s is equal to r given y is equal to o. This is the one conditional probability that we want to get. And we just plug in the probabilities from base rule. So we have p of y given s. p of y equals orange given s equals red. We calculated this to be 3 over 4. Then we have the probability of S is equal to the red box, which we have on the top here, which is 2 over 3. Then we look into the denominator. Again, we have P of Y given S. We already had that. And also P of S. Can just copy that. And then we have to apply the sum and we can use the expression of p of y equal orange given s is equal to b times s equal b but we don't have to apply the product rule we can also use the formula directly above and we can just plug in p of y equal orange and s is equal to blue we already calculated that this is then 1 over 12. And this is then equal to 6 over 7, which will be in percent 85.7%. So what does that mean? If I do the experiment and I don't show you any fruit, your best guess would be that I have picked a fruit from the red box. But if the only information you get would be which fruit I picked, and let's now assume it would be an apple, and I would then ask you to guess from which box it came from. So this is a task that you could do by yourself, just calculating the probability that S is equal to R, given that I picked an apple now. We calculated this example with an orange feel free to calculate this with an apple and you will see that you may not want to pick from the red box this time. The probability changes. The probability that I pick from the red box decreases and that just happens because of the data I am showing you. And the key for doing that is Bayes' rule. The terminology is as follows. Every time we want to know how often one source is picked in general. We call that prior probability because we calculate this prior of observing the data. Every time I want the probability of both events at the same time, all these probabilities are called joint probabilities. Every time we say a probability under a certain condition, it is a conditional probability. And now if you consider Bayes' rule, you have some specialized names. The difficult conditional probability that you compute given a data point, we call posterior probability. All right, to sum everything up in the not explicit form, we have three important rules that we need throughout the whole machine learning one course. The sum rule.
the product rule and base rule. All right, that's it. That is all the probability theory that we need for now. And we can already apply that to some tasks. But for this video, that's it. And I hope you have enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.